Alright everybody, so what used to be a Pinellas Medieval Fair here in Largo, Florida went away, went to Tampa, it went to Dade City currently, but this man that I'm with right now, David Koning from DK Farms, is here to bring it all back to Pinellas. That's right. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, um, I mean, there hasn't been a, a medieval fair since 2004, so uh, it's kind of cool to bring, bring it back. Uh, I think it's going to be a huge hit. Uh, we hope to grow it over the future, so this is just a, uh, a great excuse to bring people to the farm, too. You know, there's just so much more than just what's, what we have to offer for the video fair. I mean, there's so much cool things to see and, and animals to, to hang out with, so. And speaking of animals, we are here with Petey, right? Yes, this is Petey. He's a little <laughs> occupied, uh, so he won't talk right now, but um, yeah, Petey um, has to be milked uh, about three or four times a day, uh, whereas mom, mom won't milk him, so uh, we're, we're getting the uh, awesome behind the scenes look of milking Mr. Petey, yeah. <laughs> nice, so for this medieval fair, it's only this weekend, right? It is, yeah, unfortunately it's only one weekend this year. Um, we have a, a group of people that are gonna be putting this on and uh, it's a lot of behind the scenes and a lot of uh, undertaking. So we're just doing one weekend this year, but we, we do hope uh, with the support of the community, of course, to, to grow it eventually. Very cool, very cool. So what all can they expect to come out here? Yeah, so um, we're a petting zoo first. So we have uh, an amazing lot of cool animals. We have a rabbit touch area. We'll be doing pony rides. Uh, we have animal feed that people can, uh, you know, feed the animals with. Uh, so that's the foundation of the event. Um, but we have all kinds of cool extracurricular activities too. Like for the kids, uh, we have um, a whole, or anybody, honestly, a 18 hole putt putt course. We have a bull ride. Um, um, we have some medieval stuff too. So uh, we have archery. Uh, we have the uh, tomato torture, which is throwing tomatoes at the jester. Um, we have um, uh, lottery enactments, so we'll have uh, knights fighting each other. Uh, we have uh, blacksmithing, um, glass blowing, uh, a lot of demonstrations. We'll have some, some acts on the stage. Um, I, I'm not in charge of, of that entertainment, so I don't know what the, what the list is. Uh, people have been asking me, I'm like, I have, I actually don't know, uh, because that's not my department. But uh, I know we have uh, a couple of musicians and stuff that are going to be doing some stuff throughout the day, but they have like a, basically something is always going to be happening every hour. Um, they're also bringing in a trebuchet uh, to launch, um, so that's going to be kind of cool. I'm excited to see that. That comes in tonight, so I'm not sure. Oh, Eric, that's not here yet. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff set up uh, up, up in the, in the, in the night, especially with the weather we've had. So, got it. All right, so it looks like Petey's almost out of milk, so I'm gonna let you put him down real quick. Yeah, yeah. he's good. I bet you're pretty good at darts too. Top left here. All right, let's try the best. Rocks him out. Yep. Right, get... So you do white out. White. Okay. And then, is there a certain way to hold it? Yeah, it's better to be here. And yep. then, yeah, you want to bring your um, where your, your arrow is. And once you want it to be pretty level, so you right, okay. can go right through there. Oh. Yep, exactly. So are you left-handed? I'm both. Okay, she is. Yeah, but, uh, I always find it. Yep. More full than what we want. On the girls' team, yeah. Oh man, that win, man. Oh, now it's double fast. They also have some really cool photo ops here, like this guy in the corner. Put your face through there and make some uh, good times. And the ever famous corn beat. Big hit with the kids. Y'all having fun? <laughs> there. Yeah. There we go. Now you're talking to me. Let's <laughs> Man, it makes it work. It legs. It's yeah. all I saw it. Alright, so we're sitting down here with David at the farm. You started this in 2018. I did. Yes. With your dad, correct? Uh, 
he helped me, but he's not like a partner. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been all in for that. I don't really have anybody to help me out. I mean, they, she's definitely been a huge help, but he's not a uh, like a part of the business. So you run all this all, all in your own? I do, yeah. Of course, I have helpers and employees to do that, but um, yeah, when it comes to running the business, yeah, I'm pretty much uh, my, I'm definitely a sole proprietor. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what are your future plans with this place? Man, I have so many dreams and aspirations of what I want to accomplish here. Uh, I mean, we've we've spent the day kind of talking about those, but um, I, the next the next major step is to jump a lot more into the weddings um, and, and opening up our um, our, our weeknight uh, experience for the bar. Okay. And when do you think that'll open tentatively? Uh, I'm I'm really shooting for May. I think I think the uh, the bar will, will be pretty solid in April, but in most likely in for sure for May. Okay, cool. Yeah, got some structures to build first. So. Yeah. <laughs> the, the new entrance to the farm, um, new restrooms, which are definitely needed, new office space, um, and then a big greenhouse um, for uh, for seating uh, when it rains. We have the tent now, just which is great, but we need something a little more uh, consistent and solid. So. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Well, yeah, definitely come back out here in May and check out the bar. Anything else you want to like talk about as far as future plans go? Yeah, we're just trying to make um, the opportunity for every single age group to want to come out. So, uh, of course, we are a huge on the on the small ones and the younger kids uh, to come out and see the animals, um, and then the, of course the older folks as well that want to come out and just kind of enjoy the nature and enjoy outside. Um, so I guess we're we're really trying to aim more towards those uh, college age kids that we're really not hitting right. Um, the events, uh, there's for sure, especially those Instagram Instagram people who want to take pictures of the pumpkins and stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, we get those people, but we're really trying to get every something for everybody. And so that's why this year for 2023, our target is how can we get the college age group to come out. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> baby. Oh my goodness. Got a whole bunch of you. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. All right, so one thing I almost forgot to mention here is they have some goat yoga. Yeah. And David is here to talk about that. Yeah, goat yoga is uh, a really fun time. You know, it's, it's um, when you come to the petting zoo, you can touch all the animals, but you're not really in with the goats. Uh, but during goat yoga, you are. And so goat yoga is actually, we have our professional instructor up on the top. And, uh, and then we, we fill everybody uh, in here. It gets packed with a bunch of people in mats. Um, and uh, we, and we do a full yoga class. It's a complete full class. It's an hour session. Um, we're about 45 minutes the entire you're in here for about an hour. Um, and uh, you're just surrounded by a bunch of little goats. Um, and, and we will put, make sure everybody gets an opportunity to have a goat on their back. It's always fun and great for photos. It's, it's just, and you know, yoga is great and it brings you outside, of course, but it's also a time for laughter. So it's not a super serious session. Um, it's meant and, and kind of geared to kind of just laugh and enjoy yourselves. There are a few people every once in a while that just come literally, they're like, oh, hey, I'm not even here for the yoga. I'm just here to cuddle with some goats and, and that's too, that's fine too. Um, and so it's, it's again, it's just a, it's a great time. It's always usually every other Saturday. Um, we also um, offer private sessions as well for people to book parties or groups that want to do private, uh, private goat yoga session. Um, so that is also available. Um, and you can find that again on, on penelsfarm.com and see all the kind of the cool things that we have to offer um, it, as, as well as go yoga. Perfect. Sounds like a good time. Go check it out. We'll link everything in the description below or you can see it right here. Be jealous. Don't be jealous. Got some putt putt out here. You can play with the kid, the dog, the white. It's always a good time. I'll start swapping out the thing you did. For me. All right, everybody, that does it here at DK Farms for the Medieval Pinellas Medieval Fair. With my man over here, David Coning, owner of DK Farms, 
So other than the events, what else can they expect or uh, like hire you guys out for? Absolutely. So we are a one of a kind uh, venue rental when it comes to Pinellas for sure. Um, and so we are uh, really trying to engage in, in, in creating more of an areas for the weddings. Um, so we have a brand new ceremony space um, where we'll be getting uh, more ceremony spaces and different options um, um, through, uh, over the next couple of years for sure. Um, so all kinds of cool options for weddings. Um, so if you're ever thinking about uh, getting married or, or getting into and, and, uh, creating a wedding or what, whatnot, um, think about that when you come, get, get some inspiration. Um, but they also do uh, birthday parties. So birthday parties almost every single weekend. So we have all kinds of cool spaces uh, specifically for our birthdays. Um, including our bounce houses and of course pony rides and all of our amazing animals to see. So uh, we're a really cool place for, for very unique um, birthday parties for, for everybody. It's not just for the kid, now it's for the parents and, and grandma too. And it's definitely a fun time out here. You guys gotta go check it out. I'll link everything in the description below. Come check it out right here in Largo, Florida. It's gonna be a good time. This weekend only, this video will come out Friday night and you guys can check it out over the weekend. If you missed the event, there'll be plenty more coming out this year. So from all of us here, Tampa Bay Steve, have a great day.